baits. Now we've got a first turn. So there we go, we did that 90 mile stretch. It's a Baladonia, it's about 30 k's away. And we'll get some fuel, because as you can see, my gauge is like on half. So yeah, better, better fill up. It'll probably be only $2.30 a litre. So in effect, I'm paying 50 cents more than I was in Adelaide, or even Sejuna for that matter. That's a lot. <laughs> so anyway, I'll shut up. Bye. Yeah, we're here we are in Bello, Belladonia. <laughs> Belladonia. Um, we'll have a bit of a stretch and get fuel and go for the walk. Only psychopaths peel the lid off their pies and peel their the sausage rolls. In it. I didn't mean to. Put yeah, the yeah. sauce in it once you've taken the lid off. Put mix the sauce in the in the meat and then dip the top in the meat. <laughs> anyway, we're here at Balladonia. Balladonia Hotel. As I was saying in the car, a bit of useless information, the Skylab, which was a satellite back in the 70s, I think it was 1978 from, a, from memory. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't really care if I'm wrong. <laughs> I could be just making it up. But part of the Skylab crashed here, near Balladonia, and there's a museum and they've actually got a piece of the wreckage, but. But that's the caravan park over there. And that's the toilet block. So good. And uh, that's the service station. We just had a mung done some pie. And that was good, really good. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, that's the caravan park over there. I don't know where the museum is. If it, there's probably a sign somewhere. I'm not really that bothered about not seeing the Skylab. Oh, actually, that's it on the roof up there. <laughs> Dickhead, it's right in front of me. That's the museum right there. Hannah, uh, that's the museum here. And that's the piece of the Skylab on the roof, look. So there you go, that's a piece of the Skylab that crashed in the desert here. Oh, so it's on the roof? Well, bits of it. it the, the, the proper wreckage is actually in, in the museum, but the museum's probably not open till later. But I've seen it on YouTube anyway. Yeah, it's, like <laughs> it's pretty early. We, um, <coughs> we were having a laugh at the Kaguna Roadhouse because we <laughs> The Kaguna Roadhouse has all these rules and uh, one of the rules was uh, no cooking in the room or on the veranda because otherwise we charge $150. Everything was $150. Bucks. If, you emptied, if, you, if you filled the bin up too much, they were going to charge us $150. Bucks. If you rearranged the bedding on one of the other beds, that's another $150. $150 to empty a bin. Uh, what a bunch of wankers. And then there was nowhere to drop the key off this morning. So I've left it in the door, so I hope they're not going to try and charge me for not putting the key in the lock or somewhere else. Because I'm like... So yeah, Kaguna Roadhouse expensive, but it's... You, you know, if you, if you want to stop somewhere and rest, it's probably... you got no choice, you got to pay the money. But it was $190 for that room. And you don't even get a stove or microwave in it. So it's, it the shower was nice, yeah, the shower was good, surprisingly the shower was good and um, the bathroom was like massive, you didn't need it to be a bathroom that big, they could have made a little kitchen area for the money. The air conditioner was noisy as hell, <laughs> we couldn't open the windows because there was no fly screens and it was flies everywhere, so we ended up just bloody having that going all night and then I stepped when I went to the toilet in the night, I stepped near the shower and got my sock wet. So I took one of my socks off and put that in front of the air conditioner. So really, really, when, when you step in a puddle, right, not good. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, there's, camel, there's, there's the Balladonia sign. You can have a read of that. I'll, I'll put it up so you can read it. For those of you who are interested.
just left his rubbish. Go get your rubbish! Um, so yeah, we're gonna go again in a minute. I'm just gonna have a drink. Put your rubbish away and knock it. All right, I'm gonna put this iced ass coffee in the back of the car again. And we're gonna go. All right, so Norseman 192. So yeah, we shall continue on. We're here in Norseman, so we're going to go wee and then go again. 